Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you a couple of really cool teams you can use for this invasion event. First things first, go to your rewards and grab your stuff. This is a guild-based event, so you may as well grab some stuff. You never know, you might find something useful in there. Probably won't, but you might. Right, pop to the shop, next stage, and have a look at these tiers, because tier 3 is really cool. You get this really nice weapon. It is in the Soul Forge at the same time, but much better to buy it with gems. If you can, your diamonds are valuable and you need them to buy troops with and things like that. So definitely better to get this with gems if you can. Really cool weapon. Explodes magic plus one red gems. Grants a random status effect to all daemon allies and summons a daemon troop. Tier two important as well anyway because you have to buy these in order. So if you go to tier three, you automatically buy this one. This is the Iron Maiden. Really important for this event. It deals damage to an enemy. If they're a tower, deal three to five times damage based on her ascensions and create eight red gems. And there's double magic for this event, so really important for that to get her in the team. In tier one, of course, you get the very handy potion of enchantment. Enchants all allies at the start of battle for this event only. I did actually buy the mega tier thing at the beginning this time round because I thought, yeah, I'm going to go to tier three anyway. And there's 16 stages now with rewards to these things, so it takes a lot to get them done. So, but yeah, I don't mind helping out with these and doing a little bit more, because I do like to pick up those Orb of Minions and those shiny keys. Really, really cool. All right, onto the teams themselves. I'll show a couple of options for this, because there are a couple of viable options, which are both very, very good. First one is Fiend Fire, two times Baphomet and the Iron Maiden. Fiend Fire does damage to all enemies, so we'll be able to cast that at the beginning on the early stages and wiping out the enemies straight away, because it's boosted by Daemon Allies at the same time, which is the whole team, then curse and burn all enemies. The burn in particular is really useful for this, because first of all we are in Diabolist class, and we have stuff like Demonic Rage, Dark Hunger, Plague Bearer, Spawn of Hell, Life Siphon, Spiff Curse, really handy, somebody can just die absolutely immediately. And Fireblade, deal a triple a skull damage to burning enemies. Really useful when we get that burn going on those later stages if the enemy is more survivable. But also a Baphomet does damage to three random enemies, and if the enemy is burning, deal double damage. So again, on those harder to beat enemies later on, or if you're a newer player and your magic's not as high as mine, that double damage is really, really gonna come in handy for you. Iron Maiden is there because she's really cool for this, does damage to an enemy, remember she gets double magic in this event, and if they're a tower, deal 3 to 5 times damage based on your ascensions, creates 8 red gems which can charge up your Baphomets and your Iron Maiden to do it all over again, and eventually when those towers come in and they start getting replaced by pretty much all towers, if you've got enough Iron Maidens you can swap out your other troops one at a time for more Iron Maidens. Second option for this as a team, what we can do is go for that gatekeeper weapon, which is really, really good. Do like it a lot. I love those kind of weapons. Explodes red gems, grants a random status effect to all daemon allies and summons a daemon troop. So you can have that. That's going to use yellow and brown. And regarding the troops, obviously you still have your Iron Maiden at the bottom. But you can have something like two times Ver Verberic? Verberic? What's his name? Ven Barak. Does damage to all enemies with a 75% chance to disease all enemies. So that's a damage to all as well. Pretty good. And you're going to get the protection from the weapon from those status effects. And you've got a chance of a summon and things like that. If you don't have that troop, there is another troop which does damage to all. And that is, um, where is he? Taraxis does damage to all enemies as well and transforms blue to brown. So if you don't have the uh, weapons like um, all the troops like Baphomet, then there are other options for that quick and easy damage to all to get things done on the early stages. So the banner for this team will be the Abyssal Banner. Plus two purple, plus one red, minus one yellow. So let's crack on and do a few of the early stages and we'll jump forward and do some of the trickier ones. Right, let's dive in and do a few battles. I've skipped out of these super early stages because they were really super duper mega straightforward. Most people are just going to charge up the weapon and cast and it is a job done. Do have the potion of explosion and stuff at the beginning of this, so this does charge up fairly quickly for me, this team. Dependent upon your luck with the, uh, the colours, of course. But there's Fiend Fire, we got that. The job done. So it's just going to be a case, really, of weakening the enemy with fiend fire you can cast with baphomet first of course if you get red 
at the beginning rather than rather than purple or something. Nothing wrong with that. The Baphomet will still do a really good job. It's just better if you can cast uh, your Fiend Fire first, especially if you're a newer player, because you're going to benefit from that. A lovely double damage from a Baphomet. We're still doing an absolute job on them right now. You keep on going and working your way through. When you get to the towers, if your other troops aren't wiping out them towers absolutely straight away, that's when you get your Iron Maiden onto them. There we go, that's why she's important. Look, double magic on this. Not the amount I had before, it's literally doubled. So you do a really high amount of damage. And that damage for me has still got to be times by five. So that is like ludicrous. That's why later on, if you can get more than one of these troops, really, really cool to just stick all of those in your team later on when it's all towers across here. Eventually, all these troops will be replaced by towers. That's when you, if you've got the troops, you can go for all Iron Maidens, just charge them up and then just bash through them towers absolutely one at a time. Let's just give our Baphomet a bit of action, look. Bish, bash, bosh. Stage five. Now, what you're gonna find is, as these stages progress, more and more towers are gonna to come into the play and replace the normal troops. Now, the thing is with towers are they are invulnerable, which means they're immune to the burning. If we have a look at them there, invulnerable, immune to all status effects. And it's going to be the same for the last one. So this burn is not going to have an effect anymore, but this team will still be pretty good at these stages. A, because basically we'll still get that damage to all from the weapon, and we'll still be able to do significant damage with your Baphomets. Let's see that come into play because we've still got a couple of normal troops so it's still going to be good for getting them out of the way nice and quick but we've softened them towers up and then we can cast Baphomet to finish them off. Last stage, stage eight is where you may want to change things up a little bit. Let's um, have a look at this. We've got all the towers now so no effect from our Fiend Fire regarding the burn so no more double damage from Baphomet. Now depending upon your magic level you can still work it with this team but for most players, you're going to want to swap out your other troops for Iron Maidens if you can. So let's just see how this pans out first of all. Let's still grab purple for our Fiend Fire because you can keep on charging that and still do a heck of a lot of damage with Fiend Fire and your Baphomets. Let's, um, should we give that a little whack with that first? Yeah, why not? Right, so we soften them up. See, for me, this is still going to be fairly effective because I think we're about to nearly wipe them out oh yeah baphomet we can absolutely cast that and we still have the iron maiden sitting there ready to go all right i'm gonna have to carry on with this event with just one of these it'll still be okay for me or just just means it's going to be a little bit slower because i was a bit stupid i don't usually buy that mega tier thing at the beginning and what that does it gives you the exact amount of of troops you need enough copies of this to make it into a mythic one which is all well and good but when you do that, it only leaves you with one copy. The trick to end up with extra copies of this is, if you're gonna buy that mega tier, for example, is to, to do that. But before you ascend this troop, just use one of your blue ascension orbs first. This means that when you then ascend this to mythic, you have extra copies of this left over because you've basically got spares because you used one of your orbs of ascension. And then you can just replace all these other troops with all of these Iron Maidens, get them charged up and just bash out them towers one at a time so uh yeah i'm gonna have to carry on like this but um it will work it'll just be a bit slower than normal baphomets are going to be working over time they're both probably gonna have to be cast in a lot of circumstances we can soften them up with some spell stuff too or skull stuff let's get some purple going on soften them up double cast of baphomet yeah, still going to do a fairly good job, but these towers are going to get, oh, like one. One health they got left with, or one life. Technically, a tower doesn't have life, doesn't have a pulse or hope. That'd be a really weird tower. So there's the video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful or helpful, anything like that, be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.